a hollow shaft of outer diameter is 50 mm thickness equal to 5 mm subjected to twisting moment of 1200 newton meter the minimum torsional shear stress in the shaft we have to find out we have to find out here minimum value not the maximum value maximum value will occur on the outer surface and the minimum value will occur at the inner surface so using the torsion formula we can calculate the value of tau max which will occur at outer radius and we have linear relation from inner to outer hence we can calculate the minimum torsional shear at the inner radius so this figure represent the hollow shaft and we have maximum value of a shear is taking place at the outer diameter that is equal to 50 mm the thickness is equal to 5 mm and hence we can calculate d1 so we have d1 is same as equal to d2 minus 2 times of thickness that is we have d2 is equal to 50 and 2 times of thickness is 5 50 minus 10 that equal to 40 mm here we require the value of k and we have defined the value of k as d1 by d2 where we have d1 is equal to 40 and d2 is equal to 50 2.8 so using the torsion formula we can calculate the maximum shear stress will occur on the outer surface we have torque is equal to 1200 torque you have to always use in newton mm so you have to multiply by 10 to the power 3 is equal to pi by 16 outer diameter do is same as d2 is equal to 50 so we have 50 cube into 1 minus k k is equal to 0.8 we have power is 4 multiplied by the maximum shear stress so maximum shear stress come out to be 82 megapascal my minimum shear stress corresponds to d1 divided by maximum shear stress correspond to d2 so we have d1 by d2 that is we have minimum value of the shear stress at the inner diameter will be maximum value of the shear stress equal to 82 diameter d1 is equal to 40 and diameter d2 is equal to 50 that is 0 0.8 0.8 into 82 is 66.25 megapascal the cross section of the two hollow bar made up of the same material that is the same value of modulus of GT are concentric circles as shown in the figure it is given that the value of r3 is greater than r1 and r4 is greater than r2 and the area of the cross sections are same and j1 and j2 are the torsional rigidity of the bar on the left and the right then you have to calculate the value of j2 by j1 now he has used the word torsional rigidity basically it's a product of j1 into g but g is same so you have to same value you have to calculate this that is a polar moment of inertia for the right figure divided by the polar moment of inertia of the left figure he has given the condition here that the both the cross sections are same so let exhaust that condition and first we'll develop here a relation between r1 r2 and r3 r4 so this will labeled as 1 this will labeled as 2 in this case we have area a1 is same as equal to area a2 r2 is more as compared to r1 so we can write this value as pi into r2 square minus r1 square equal to pi this time r4 is more so we have r4 square minus r3 square pi term will be get cancelled in that case we left here with r2 square minus r1 square is equal to r4 square minus r3 square polar moment of inertia j is given as pi by 32 into d to the power 4 d to the power 4 is same as 2 times of radius to the power 4 2 to the power 4 is 16 so we have polar moment of inertia is same as j equal to pi by 2 r to the power 4 so this formula you have to use in terms of radius so we can calculate here j2 by j1 that equal to pi by 2 for second figure r4 is more so we have to use the power of r equal to 4 so we have r4 power is 4 
minus R3 power is equal to 4. J1 is replaced as pi by 2. We have R2 to the power 4 minus R1 to the power 4. This one is same as a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b a minus b. Pi by 2 and pi by 2 will get cancelled out. On the numerator we have R4 square plus R3 square that is a plus b into R4 square minus R3 square divided by R2 to the power 4 minus R1 to the power 4 can be written as R2 square plus R1 square and we have R2 square minus R1 square. Now since A1 and A2 are identical, we have R4 minus R3 square can be cancelled with R2 minus R1 square. And here R4 is greater than the R2 and R3 is greater than R1. It means that the numerator is greater than denominator. So J2 by J1 will be greater than 1. So choice A correct? Greater than 1. Two circular shafts made up of a same material, one solid and one is hollow, have the same length, same and the polar moment of inertia. Both are subjected to the same torque. Theta S is the twist and tau S is the maximum shear stress in the solid shaft, whereas theta H is the twist and tau H is the maximum shear stress in the hollow shaft, which are the following equation is true. And we have given here four choice. So just you have to compare here the two shaft, one is a solid shaft and one is a hollow shaft. Both the shaft are circular in cross section and of the same material. It means that the value of G is remain same. Both the shaft has the same length, so length is also equal to same. And same value of polar moment of inertia, so J value is also remain same. So to this term we will not use the suffix. Theta s is the twist in the solid shaft and tau s is the maximum shear stress. Corresponding value of the twist in the hollow shaft is theta h and the shear stress equal to tau h. And here it is given that both are subjective to the same torque here. So torque is also same in both cases. We know that the value of theta is given as a product of t multiplied by l divided by j into g. In this case the torque is same, length is same, even the value of g is same and the value of g is same. So this value for the hollow shaft is same as equal to for solid shaft that is Tl by jg for solid shaft is same. It means that we have value of theta s is same as equal to theta h. So either the choice a is correct or choice d is correct. The maximum shear stress in the hollow shaft is tau h. So we have tau h by tau or solid will be proportional to the tau h is proportional to the outer diameter do and the tau s is proportional to the diameter equal to d where do is the od of hollow section and d is the diameter of solid section. Whether they have the same value or different value can be compared with the help of DO and D. And we have given the polar moment of inertia of a solid shaft is same as the polar moment of inertia of a hollow shaft. The polar moment of inertia of solid shaft is given as pi by 32 diameter equal to D to the power 4 for hollow shaft is pi by 32 into DO to the power 4 into 1 minus k where k is di by do which is normally less than 1 so we have di by do so this one is a fraction value and pi by 32 is get cancelled so this one is fraction it means that we have do is greater than the value of di if the do is greater than di it means that we have tau h is greater than tau s so in this case this one is correct that is the shear stress in the hollow is more as compared to solid so this one is goes wrong 
only choice correct is D is correct. The shear stress developed in the solid shaft is always less as compared to the shear stress in the hollow shaft. Choice D is correct. The maximum shear stress developed on the surface of a solid circular shaft under the pure torsion is 240 MPa. If the shaft diameter is doubled, then the maximum shear stress developed corresponding to the same torque you have to find out. So you have a solid shaft and we have initial case and the final case. In the initial case, we have the shear stress produced, that is the maximum value of the shear stress produced is tau max equal to 240. In second case, we have to calculate the value of tau max. In this case, the original diameter equal to D, that is D1 is equal to D and D2 is become two times of the original diameter. Torque is remain same in both cases. Now, since the torque is remain same and uh, for solid shaft, we have torque equal to pi by 16 D cube into tau max. So the product of D1 cube into tau 1 max will be same as equal to D2 cube into tau 2 max. So let label this one as tau 2 max and this one is tau 1 max. D1 is same as equal to D so we have D cube into tau 1 max equal to 240. D2 cube is 2 cube into D cube into tau 2 max. D cube and D cube is cancel out 2 cube is 8. So shear stress when the diameter is doubled will be equal to 240 by 8 that equal to 30 megapascal. 30 megapascal choice C is correct. If the two shaft of the same length one of which is hollow other will be solid transmit equal torque and have equal maximum shear stress then they would have equal either polar moment of inertia or the polar section modulus or diameter or angle of twist. So we have given here two shaft one is a solid shaft and one is a hollow shaft. Both shaft will transmit equal torque that is the value of T1 is equal to T then T2 is also equal to T and have equal maximum shear stress that is we have tau 1 max is equal to tau then tau 2 max is also equal to tau then which property is equal in that case that you have to find out so this diameter will be equal is wrong choice because which diameter is not mentioned then we apply the torsion formula here which one is t by j equal to tau maximum divided by radius r the moment of inertia will not come in the picture so only tile left is between the polar section of modulus and the angle of twist they are given the same length that equal to l1 is equal to l and l2 is equal to l so j can be multiplied on the right hand side we get tor equal to tau max multiplied by polar moment of inertia divided by the radius r this one is a outer radius the case of hollow as well as in the case of solid shaft and j by outer radius will be same as our section modulus that is a polar section modulus so we have torque equal to tau max multiplied by zp so the generalized equation we can write as tau t2 by t1 is same as equal to tau max 2 by tau max 1 is same as equal to polar section modulus for hollow divided by polar section modulus for solid so t2 and t1 will cancel out tau max and tau max will cancel out so we can conclude here radio of z p2 that is the polar section modulus for hollow must equal to the polar section modulus for solid section choice b is correct choice The maximum shear stress in a solid shop of circular cross section having diameter T is subjected to torque T is tau. The torque is increased four times and the diameter of the shaft is increased two times. Maximum shear stress in the second case we have to find out. So this one is a comparison of a solid shaft of two different cases. The original diameter is D, original torque is T 
and the original maximum shear stress equal to tau. Let's consider here we have solid chart. We'll consider two cases here. Initial diameter D1 is equal to D. Initial torque T1 equal to T. And the maximum shear stress in the first case tau max 1 is equal to tau. In the second case, the diameter is increased two times. So we have D2 is equal to two times of diameter. Torque is increased four times. So T2 become four times of torque. In that case, we have to calculate the value of tau max in terms of tau 2. Now, because of a solid shaft here, the torque is equal to pi by 16 into d cube into tau max. So, we'll take here ratio for case 2 to case 1. In that case, we get t2 by t1. Pi by 16 is cancelled. We have d2 by d1 and we have whole cube of it multiplied by tau max in the second case will be tau 2 and tau max in the first case will be equal to tau t2 is becoming 4 times of t so t2 is replaced as 4 times t t1 is replaced as t equal to d2 is 2 times of d so we have 2 times of d d1 is equal to d we have to make a cube of it into tau 2 divided by tau so t and t will cancel out d and d will cancel out tau 2 we can find out as 4 times of tau divided by 2 cube that will be equal to 8 so in this case we get the value of tau 2 will be equal to tau divided by 2 tau divided by 2 that is choice c is correct choice The outside diameter of a hollow shaft is twice its inside diameter that is 2 times of di. The ratio of its torque carrying capacity to that of a solid shaft of the same material and the same outside diameter that is the diameter of the solid shaft is same as equal to the outside diameter of a hollow shaft. Then we have to compare here the torque carrying capacity. Because of the same material we will consider the maximum stress is also equal to same. So we will consider the data for solid shaft and the hollow shaft. Outside diameter of a hollow shaft is twice its inside diameter. So we have DO is two times of the inside diameter. That is the value of K is equal to DI by DO is exactly equal to 0.5. And we have same material. So it means that we have tau max or hollow case and the solid case is remain same so this value of tau h and same value of tau max in the case of solid section or carrying capacity you have to calculate that is th and t s that ratio you have to calculate secondly he says that the same outside diameter of the solid shaft so we have d is equal to do the torque transmitted by a solid shaft is given as pi by 16 into d cube into tau max. In both cases, we have maximum shear is same. And for hollow shaft is given as pi by 16 do cube into 1 minus k to the power 4, where k is equal to 0.5 multiplied by tau max. So tau max will be get cancelled. Ratio of the torque carrying capacity to that of solid means we have to calculate the value of th divided by ts. If you take a ratio of TH by TS, pi by 16 is get cancelled. Even the value of DO and this D is get cancelled. But I will write this value as a DO cube into 1 minus K to the power 4. Tau max is cancelled. We'll write here and then we'll cancel it. The diameter of the solid shaft is same as equal to DO. So we have DO cube multiplied by tau max. So tau max term is get cancelled and do term is get cancelled. So we have th equal to 1 minus 0.5 to the power 4 multiplied by the torque transmitted by solid shaft is th equal to 1 minus this is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is same as 1 by 2 to the power 4 is 16 so 1 minus 1 by 16 
multiplied by Ts. So we have Th come out to be 15 by 16 times the torque transmitted by solid shaft. 15 by 16, choice A is correct. Two solid circular shaft of red eye R1 and R2 are subjected to the same torque. The maximum shear stress developed in the two shaft is tau1 and tau2. If R1 by R2 is equal to 2, then tau1 by tau2 we have to calculate. In both cases, we have solid circular shaft. So this is a comparison of a solid shaft. Case 1, we have radius equal to R1. So we have radius equal to R1 and case 2, we have radius equal to R2. The torque transmitted in both cases is remain same and shear stress in the first case is tau1, shear stress in the second case equal to tau2. In addition to this, we have given the relation as R1 by R2, which one is same as equal to D1 by D2 is equal to 2. Then we have to find out here what is the value of tau1 by tau2. So torque in the case of solid shaft is given as pi by 16 into d cube into tau max so in general we we'll write this equation as t1 is equal to pi by 16 into d1 cube into tau1 and second case the same equation becomes t2 equal to pi by 16 into d2 cube into tau2 so take a ratio here we have t1 by t2 pi by 16 will cancel this will be q here is d1 by d2 we have cube of it into tau1 by tau2 work in both cases is same that is get cancel so we get a ratio of tau1 by tau2 this term will shift to the left hand side will be d2 by d1 and it's a cube of it now R1 by R2 is 2, so we have D2 by D1 will be 1 by 2. So we have tau1 by tau2 will be equal to 1 by 2 cube of it. That is equal to 1 by 8. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google Store. And in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate join the course directly from your mobile the link is given here